Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we began working in the new game, and began exploring the local area around the Soul System, building our first outposts, and research stations, and mining stations, and beginning to expand into our fledgling interstellar empire. We have our first colony ship under construction, ready to colonize a planet in the Alpha Centauri system. It is the planet Chiron here. No agricultural districts. Um, if we don't find some planets with some agricultural capability, it might be a little bit of, uh, it might have some trouble with food, but yeah, we're continuing our exploration. We have a new planet in the Hoag system. Tropical world. That can have some farms. This one we definitely want to colonize. Juggernaut manta rays. Max agricultural districts plus three. Extensive cavern systems. Minerals plus job. Max mining districts. Mass districts. We definitely, definitely want that planet. Now, also in the Hoag system, we've discovered our first... Primitive civilization, though they are a early space age civilization, so they will rather soon become a fully fledged spacefaring civilization. So we're going to need to deal with them. The Mekonas is what they are called. They have small metallic rings. They are. Uh, the planet has flat terrain. The terrain in this world is mostly flat. is interesting. Alright, so, you know, after reading the comments and everything, I have decided that what we're going to do with them is conquer them. So, we've met our first advanced intelligent species, and we're going to celebrate this momentous and historical discovery by attacking them. Because, of course, we are. So, in order to do that, we are going to need some ground troops. As many of them as I can get. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and unpause it. The Ganges was unable to build a mining station in Hoag. Resources have been refunded. Oh, because they just burned all the... Construction complete. Just burned all the stuff there. Okay. Do I have enough for an outpost? No. All right, get the mining stations built. Let's go ahead and have you move over here and get ready. Ah, more traditions. Anomaly found. Something moves with near purpose. The life aquatic. Okay, go ahead and research it. Reform army hierarchies. Our army is still organized as it was before we left our solar system. Now the military is dom dominated by the interstellar fleet, and the army is primarily used to control and invade planets. We must reform our army to better fit this new role. General skills increased by two. General recruitment costs reduced. Army experience gain increased. Perfect timing on that one. So we are about to get our first armies, which we already have now. Ancient mining drones. Reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be workers and custodians of an auto uh, of an autonomous orbital mining operation, established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves. Judging by the state of the processing equipment, the drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile, overtures toward human vessels when approached. They may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Empire. Establish a listening post on Earth. 
Situation log. Drone study. Go ahead and hit it. Strategic resource is covered on UV SETI 1A. Volatile moats. These preternatural particles contain a tremendous amount of energy which could be exploited in energy production uh, as fuel or even as explosives. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system. We absolutely will. If we can. You should build a outpost. All right, and we need our first general. Anomaly found. Construction. All right, go ahead and research it. We should have our first colony ship. It's on its way. All right, let me actually just check something here. All right, just wanted to make sure there wasn't any uh, requests in the previous comments for any generals. Um, there was one for an admiral, which once I have actual cruisers or battleships, then I'll, I'll try to remember to put that in. All right, but we do need an a general. All right, what we got? Army morale and damage. Um, Army disengagement chance, army collateral damage, minus 33. Why would we want to reduce our collateral damage? Uh, leader experience gain. I think we'll take Mira here. Mira Volkova, Volkova. And recruit her. Bring her in as our first general. Let's see, we have five more armies to get recruited. Ah, we have uh, a finding here. All right. So, Scree. All right, from the data gathered on our initial exploration, our science has discovered that most of the ships, because this is like apparently a bunch of crashed ships here, we're staffed with human type animals. Human type animals. Do they mean humanoid animals? With an average height of two meters, they were the navy of the Corprian Constitution, a republic that existed 1.6 million years ago. Although ships from other species were also found, most of the Caprian ships had been destroyed by Caprian weapons. Coprian. Coprian? Which led our team to think that there was a civil war between the Coprians and alien civilizations joined the fight. According to the operation references found on the alien ships, the Coprian constitution uh, had been in decline for tens of thousands of years after its golden age. It took isolationism as its diplomatic ideology during the decline and never and newer empires came to call it the Fallen Empire. It probably didn't have the strength to revive itself after the Civil War, which... Okay. I think this is probably one from a mod because it, it needs a little proof writing. Um, personal record terminal units are scattered inside the ships as if they want to be seen. Okay. Situation log well, we'll continue working on it. All right, so we have our observation post. Um, we're going to go with aggressive observation, at least for now.
And I think they were losing energy credits because of the fact that the colony ship is probably costing a bunch of energy credits. Let's go ahead and get the colony ship over here going. A new faction has recently been getting traction in the internal political landscape of the Empire. Led by scientist De Wang, they call themselves the Church of Metaphysical Cleansing. Their numbers support spiritualist and conservative values. Okay. New faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape. It's led by the Emperor himself. They call it the Alien Freedom Association. Really? Another faction led by scientist Emmett Bloom, the Strength Through Conquest Coalition. Now that sounds more like it. Okay, so we got a bunch of factions now. System survey complete. The conquest of a new world has begun. All right, we've begun colonizing our first new planet. It's a great day for the Empire. Indirect Xenology, no purges. Recent Enlightenment. System survey complete. New Contact. No, we're not going to be doing that. Native Interference is unrestricted. Native Enlightenment. I mean, we, we should just do it, say that that's allowed, at least. Uh, initial... Slavery is prohibited. Which is fine. I don't really see using slaves. Though, we'll have to kind of make sure that we set our policies as far as how we treat new species when they become inevitably integrated into the Empire. Oh, we're done surveying. Uh, continue the survey efforts. Actually, head over there and survey that system. Actually, research the anomaly. Research the anomaly. Research the anomaly. And then survey the system. Alright, you build mining stations. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, what do we get? Capacity subsidies, energy grid. Fusion reactors. Energy credits from technicians plus 20%. Yes, we'll go for that one. And we got a new... Alright, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. While the planet is prohibitively irradiated, at least one advanced form of life flourishes on UV City 2. Arthropodal in nature. Science Officer DeWang reports that creatures, the creatures exhibit impressive collective decision-making skills, and that outside stimulus may spur them to greater evolutionary heights. Something to keep in mind in the future. Research whatever that is. As 
So we found a precursor, Copria. Our team was able to get the terminals to operate and found some detailed information. Political turmoil was at its highest in the Coprian Republic with their ruling and opposition parties, namely the Goldens and the Philosophers, fighting fiercely. However, the amendment of the Constitution, which originally had been the main issue of the conflict, was passed roughly and hastily, and both parties ordered each other to, to disband. The situation escalated into a coup and then into a civil war. Okay, well, keep on digging. And get an outpost built over there. Alright, is our army ready? I believe our army is ready. Send the army and the fleet to Hoag. Hoag 4, Anti-Alien Task Force. In apparent response to our operations on their primitive world, many of the Mekonas nation-states on Hoag 4 have momentarily put aside their squabbling to form a new supranational military organization. According to the local media, this task force has been charged with defending their planet from hostile activities perpetrated by an unknown alien agency against the Mekonas species as a whole. Disconcerting. Ah, they formed XCOM. Okay. And it looks like our colony ship is done as well. It's on its way. Anomaly found. Alright. Kappa City 4A. The conditions on Kappa City 4A are ideal for life, at least on the microbial level, and maybe beyond. Complete. We'll go ahead and research it then. This person... A local general from Earth has impressed visiting human army officers with his leadership abilities so much that they have suggested they be made a general of the army. However, we will keep him on Earth. I think Bernard Star is going to be our next outpost. Construction complete. I'll go ahead and get those mining stations built. We encountered some form of alien vessels in the Groom Bridge 34 system. They are Delta aliens, and they actually are they actual ships? Oh, it is a crystalline entity. All right, well let's go ahead and research it. Hopefully it doesn't cause any problems. Or we'll have to dispatch the fleet to destroy it. Alright, speaking of the fleet. Make sure that our orbital bombardment is set to indiscriminate. Begin bombardment. All right, master arms makers. Reduce the special resource cost of ship components. There we go, and we got militarism 505. I now have an ascension perk. 
Starbase influence cost and claim influence cost, we are going to reduce. Or should I do a technological ascendancy? Research speed increased. I think I'm going to go technological ascendancy first. And for our next one, we'll go for interstellar dominion. What kind of armies do they have? System survey complete. Well, let's go ahead and land ours. The conquest of a new world has begun. Initiating ground assault. System survey complete. All right, cryostatic biology. What's this? Kappa set of Kappa City Five is frozen, and anonymous to optical scans. Anonymous, but heat signatures indicate some activity just below the surface. Go ahead and research it then. System survey complete. All right, something's moving on the surface. Research it. Subjugating primitives. Our armies have successfully invaded and subdued the primitive forces on Hoak 4. The locals have given up all attempts at fighting back and have now subsumed their civilization into our empire. Although backwards as they are, it may take some time for the natives to become fully productive members of Bulgar society. To them, our weapons must appear like magic. We have successfully invaded. A new faction has been founded by scientist Nadia Komarova and call themselves the Institute of Scientific Ascendancy. Let's put the armies back on the surface. All right, let's see, what can we get here? Specialist unemployment, worker unemployment. Let's get... Some commercial zones going, some civilian industries going. Stellar culture stock is gonna take 10 years. Not worried about it. It'll take care of itself eventually. Alright, we're colonizing that planet. Special project complete. Alright, crystalline entities. Hold on. Reports of strange free floating crystal like objects observed in certain systems has been investigated. The ship sized objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal like satellites at first appeared on Earth. While sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they should be regarded as hazardous and approached with caution. Even should we not find a martial use for them. Studying a shattered crystal would no doubt yield interesting results. Let's see. Easy prey. Crystal Hunter at modifier added given the following bonus. Five, plus 500 for every crystal entity fleet destroyed. Easy prey. All right. Governor Mohammed Abdel Noir has founded the Free Thought Coalition. And scientist Mirna Quackenbush has founded the National Preparedness Committee. We're getting all kinds of factions going on now. All right, I need to take a look at our species. 
They have full citizenship. No, 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 no. They will have residence for the time being. But yeah, they can migrate, they can colonize, no problem. Ooh, what are they? Tundra preference. Future spawns. These species are exiles from the far future. Why they are here? Why are they here and what happened to them? Interesting. Harmonization. The species inhabits in any environment as if they were a natural part of it. Habitability up. Gaia. Members of this species are unimaginably huge. They can grow to be dozens of kilometers long, equivalent to the cities of other species. Really? Okay. An umbral shroud. Members of the species can project a small invisible shroud that negates all communications, including telepathy. Even non-psionic species feel instinctive discomfort in this shroud. Very, very interesting collection of traits there, Mekonas. Alright. Continue to survey. Alright, so that archaeological site is complete. We're going to go ahead and send you over to the other archaeological site, which is an abandoned colony on the Mekonos planet. Another interesting thing to uh, to contemplate there. We have a primitive civilization that has an abandoned colony on it. Outpost can only be built around stars. Well, that would be a star, wouldn't it? Uh, build some mining stations, please. Initiating tactical. These are crystal shards. 761 combat power. We're nowhere even close to that. Alright, well, Archimedes, head over there and survey that system. The conditions on Chi Traconis 5A are ideal for life, at least on microbial level. Go ahead and research it. What do we got? Month of Unity plus two, additional edicts. All right, unlocks the Forest Tundra tile blocker. Let's get the pop growth speed plus 10%. Okay. I can do something about that food. Anomaly found. All right, research it. Anomaly found. A colossal impact crater hints there's something big colliding with the surface of the planet once. Go ahead and research it. Let's get some more farms up. Construction complete. Well, 
Our whole expeditionary force is here. Asteroid collision. A large mineral-rich mineral asteroid collided with Iona Pavona 6 at some point during the previous thousand years in what must have been a major impact event. An abundance of minerals can now be found on the planet in the vicinity of the impact crater. Excellent. Resources from jobs, stability down. We have detected a primitive civil alien civilization on Evagamar 2 in the Evagamar system. They are presently in what would be considered a late medieval age. With a firm grasp of metallurgy and a feudal society, the printing press is accelerating the speed of knowledge. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. We should. If we can expand out to there. I don't see why we couldn't, but... Anomaly found. Scanners indicating an unusual readings. Complete. This world should not be where it is, according to our long-range scans and survey charts. We should definitely investigate. Definitely. Go ahead. Investigate. Build a generator district as well over here. Build an outpost there. And you build some mining stations. What? Build a mining station, please. System survey complete. All right, we've established our colony. The first thing I want to do is build a city, but I need 400 and some odd minerals. Alright, the drones and their tireless, endless work of extracting ever-diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but nevertheless informative subject of study. In fact, mining networkers on, on Earth could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while conserving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit signal pings though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. Fanas a fascinating automata. Mining station minerals output. I'll go ahead and take that. I don't think that's a special project. Construction complete. Violent clashes between the armed gangs that run the criminal underworld on Hoag 4 have recently escalated. Street fighting has erupted in several urban centers with the planetary authorities struggling to contain it. Collateral damage has been heavy. Construction complete. Alright, continue our surveying. Build some mining stations. System survey complete. Construction complete. Get a mining station built. Can I prioritize technicians? I 
That'll help. Food's still an issue. Construction complete. All right. Can you actually build a mining station there? What we got? Energy credits from technicians plus 20%. Nano power plant tier 1. Nano power plant tier 2. Mass shadow reactor monthly energy credits plus 10. I mean, just straight up plus 10. I'll take it. All right, through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Earth. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid the continued search for strange life forms. Continue to expand. All right, I think we're probably going to go ahead and end the episode here. Actually, one of the things I should probably do here in the HOAG system is expand the star base. Because that is 24 trade value that I need to get access to. So let's go ahead and do that. There's some trade value out here, but that's probably too far away. All right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here for today. We haven't run into any other major civilizations just yet, though we've kind of bumped into some problems here and there, but we'll eventually be able to deal with them once we get some better military tech. All right, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.